Hi everyone. If there's one thing I love about making videos for this channel is I'm always learning things. Now if you wanted to travel from here, Glasgow, to Edinburgh, you can catch an air-conditioned electric train and be there in 47 minutes. And I thought, I wonder what the slowest train is? Well, I've discovered there's not one, two, three, four, but five different direct train routes you can use between Glasgow and Edinburgh. I didn't know there were so many. And the slowest one actually takes one hour and 24 minutes and has 19 intermediate stops. Who'd be crazy enough to do that? Today, you and I are going on that very, very slow train to Edinburgh. It leaves from here, Glasgow Queen Street, but not from Glasgow Queen Street. There's apparently a low level platform, which I've never used. I've lived in Glasgow for 30 years. I've never had a reason to go down into the bowels of the earth, but today we're going down and we're gonna catch our slow train to Edinburgh. But we're not going to the low level platforms. We're gonna go 100 meters up that way because there's something interesting I'd like to show you first. This is Buchanan Street, Glasgow's main pedestrianised shopping street. It's also where you'd find Buchanan Street Underground Station. It's the busiest one on the network, and we're going down there now. This is Glasgow's Travelator, which links Buchanan Street Underground Station with Queen Street Station. I'm not quite sure why they need to have this, because it's not very long, but it's here and it's cool. And this is a very unglamorous, low-level station entrance.
This is a market. The next stop is Edinburgh Waverley. Well guys, that was one very, very busy train. So much for social distancing during a COVID-19 pandemic. I was surprised at how urban that line was. It did pass through a lot of towns. There wasn't a lot of rural scenery, and that's why for such a long train journey, there wasn't a lot of scenery to capture. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video to Edinburgh. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time.